In this video, we're going to look at converting from polar to Cartesian form. In the last video, we introduced the following rules or results, I should say. X is equal to R cos theta. Y is equal to R sine theta. R is equal to the square root of X squared plus Y squared. And in this particular course, we define R to be non-negative. Or you could say r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. And theta was given to be the inverse tangent now of y over x. So we're asked to find the Cartesian equation for the following curves where a is a positive constant. r is equal to 2. Well, let's just look. r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So what we can say is 2 is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Squaring both sides, we can see x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. This is a circle, centre 0, 0, radius of 2. And if we have r is equal to a, this is a circle with a radius of a units. Let's look at the next one. These are not always blindingly obvious. r is equal to 3 sec theta. Let's rewrite that. r is equal to 3 over cos theta. Multiplying both sides by cos theta, r cos theta is equal to 3. If we look up here, r cos theta is equal to x, so x is equal to 3. That's just a straight line, and x is equal to 3. That's what we get from this one. Let's look at the next one. Um, and we can write this now as r is equal to 5 cosec theta. So r is going to be equal to 5 over sine theta. Multiplying both sides by sine theta, r sine theta is equal to 5. Well, r sine theta is y, so y is equal to 5. And we end up with a horizontal line, y is equal to 5. So as you can see, it's often a case of just uh, changing things around a little. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, the next one, this one here, r is equal to 4a tan theta sec theta. Now we've got a couple of choices on this. What I'm going to do is multiply through the equation by r. That's going to give me r squared is equal to 4ar. And I'm going to write this now. Tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. Multiplied by 1 over cos theta is going to give me r sine theta now over cos squared theta. Tan theta sec theta is sine theta over cos squared theta. If I now multiply both sides by this, I've got r squared cos squared theta is equal to 4a r sine theta. Now just consider that x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sine theta. So what we've got here is x squared. Okay, so we can write now that this is going to be x squared is equal to 4a r sine theta. So we can write this as 4a y. So that's one particular form and that certainly is a Cartesian form. If you wanted to write this as y is equal to x squared over 4a, remember a is just a positive constant, that is the Cartesian form. Okay this one right here, what we can do with this one now, again multiplying through by r, what we can say is r squared is equal to 2a r cos theta. r squared remember is x squared plus y squared, and this is going to be now 2a r cos theta. x is r cos theta, so we can write this now as 2a, and then we'd have x. We could, of course, tidy this up, and what we could do now is bring the 2ax over your side, so we could have x squared plus y squared minus 2ax is 0, and we could complete the square on this, so we would have x minus 1 lot of a, so we'd have x minus a, all squared, minus a squared, plus y squared is equal to 0. So, what does this leave us? This leaves us now x minus a, all squared, plus y squared is equal to a squared. So, again, we've got a circle, center, a, 0, radius of a. So, you can see how these are. They're not straightforward, but hopefully it will give you some idea. Let's apply the same logic with the next one. Let's multiply through that one by r. So what we're going to have then is r squared is equal to 3ar sine theta. So we've got x squared plus y squared. That is equal to r. We know 
our sine theta is y, so we end up with 3ay. Again, if we complete the square, we can have x squared plus y squared, and then we'll bring this over the other side, minus 3ay is equal to 0. So x squared plus y minus, and now what are we going to have on this? We're going to have 3 over 2, so 3 over 2a, all squared, taking half the coefficient, minus 9 over 4a squared is going to be equal to 0. So again, we've got a circle. So this one is going to be x squared plus y minus 3 over 2a, all squared, is equal to 9 over 4a squared. So centre, 0, 3 over 2a, and then the radius is going to be the square root of that, which is going to give us 3 over 2a. So that's what we wind up with. And you'll see later that you can uh, kind of spot these to be circles. Okay, So that gives you a bit of a, an insight on those ones. OK, let's have a look at this one. Right, looking at this inside here, we can convert this. What I'm going to do is rewrite this. I'm going to write cos 2 theta as 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So what we can say then is r is going to be equal now to 4 lots of 1 minus 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. OK, so what's that leaving us with now? r is going to be equal to 4. And then what we're going to have here, we're going to have 1 minus 1 will go, minus minus 2 will give us 2 sine squared theta. So r is going to be equal to 8 sine squared theta. So what we can do with this one is multiply through by r squared. So what we'll have then is r cubed is going to be equal to 8 r squared sine squared theta. Now, we know that y is equal to r sine theta, so what we can say then is r uh, cubed is going to be equal to 8y squared. Now, with this one right here, if we just consider the following, what we know is that r is going to be the square root, and we could write this now as um, x squared plus y squared to the half. So on this, we could write, instead, now we've got r cubed, we could write now x squared plus y squared to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 8 and then y squared. And you can manipulate that if you want to express it the other way around. That's perfectly fine. Um, but essentially, this is what we would get in, in Cartesian form. So that's the way I would look to express it. OK, let's have a go with some of the others. Um, OK, we've got two more. Let's have a look at this one now. Uh, again, multiplying through by um, r squared is going to be fairly straightforward on that one. So we're going to have r cubed is equal to 2r squared cos squared theta. Now, we know that x is equal to r, r cos theta. So what we could do now is write that this is going to be um, r, which we could write now as x squared plus y squared. r is x squared plus y squared cubed is now going to be equal, let's have a think what we're going to have on this one, uh, we're going to have 2x squared, aren't we? So 2x squared. So all I've done is multiplied through by the r squared, and we've ended up with that scenario right here. So what we've got, um, in fact, let's just change that. I've got, I need to just alter that, don't I? I need to make that to the 3 over 2 power, because r, um, r is going to be the square root, so that needs to be to the 3 over 2 power, doesn't it? R is equal to x squared plus y squared to the one half. So if we've got that cubed, then we're going to end up with this. So that looks good to me. So all I've done is multiply through by r squared, and that looks that looks okay. Right, okay, this one, um, what am I going to do with this one? Right, okay, let's spot this one. What we've got is r squared is equal to, and instead of 1 plus tan squared theta, let's write this as sec squared theta. OK, so r squared is equal to 1 over cos squared theta. This looks better. And then multiplying both sides by um, the cos squared theta, we've got r squared cos squared theta is going to be equal to 1. So what we can say on this one now, remember r cos theta is x, so we can say x squared is going to be equal to 1. Leaving us, uh, what are we going to have? x is going to equal plus or minus 1. So there we go, nice and straightforward. I think out of those that was one of the, the nicer ones but you've got some idea now of how to convert from polar to cartesian form if you can't see something blindingly obvious 
multiply through r, still can't see anything blind in the obvious, multiply through r squared and see if you can just play with the rules or your trig identities.